What's happening guys, it's Balna Akpaz Raigan.in and today we're going to be unboxing and taking a quick look at the new Nokia Asha 303. Uh, this is a nice uh, touch and type phone with a Symbian. Uh, not too much information on the box over here. You have the size of the screen and uh, so uh, this is uh, one of the Asha series touch and type phones. It does have a 1 GHz processor which is really impressive. This comes in the market for a MRP of 8500 rupees but you can get it in the market for much cheaper about 7000, 7500 rupees. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the box and then take a look at the device itself. So uh, first and foremost, I do have my knife over here but the box is kind of already open. So let me see if I can cut through the seal quickly. And uh, the first thing inside the box is the Nokia Asha 303. And uh, going further in, we have uh, the Nokia charger, which is this collapsible charger and you have the standard thin pin Nokia charger. So that's the second thing in the box. You also have some included earphones. Um, these are not in-ear style earphones. They're the standard Nokia earphones. They do have an inline microphone and a lapel clip. So you can clip on this part to your shirt or your collar and then you have a push button and a small tiny microphone over here to uh, send and end calls. You do have a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you can use any headphones or hands-free kits that you may have. Uh, in the box you will also find a trial subscription to uh, Nokia Life Tools. So you have a full booklet telling you what Life Tools are in different languages. That's good. You have a very in-depth Nokia 303 user manual, the thick booklet from the olden days. And you have Hindi as well as English. So really in-depth manual and you'll have most answers to all your questions in that manual. Uh, you also get a Nokia Music a booklet which will tell you that you can download tons of music for free from Nokia music So that's everything from the box. Uh, let's get rid of everything and then take a look at the device itself uh, So this is the Nokia Asha 303 on the front of the device uh, you will see uh, a couple of sensors over here uh, you will also see the earpiece and the Nokia logo. You do have this uh, screen protector that comes pre-installed by Nokia. You can remove this very easily by pulling on the silver area and you can remove this uh, sort of screen protector. You do have a 2.6 inch capacitive touchscreen display over here. Uh, this, is an this is a standard LCD display. Uh, you have the send button, the end button and uh, a quick mail and play button at the bottom of the screen. So for quick access to your email, along with quick access to media, you have the play button. You have a full-size QWERTY keyboard. Uh, the buttons are raised, uh, but they're not tapered. So they're essentially identical looking buttons, but they are raised from each other. So you will have a sort of difference in the rows and you'll be able to make out the difference between the buttons. Uh, they seem uh, large enough for bigger thumbs, so uh, they should be easy to type on. Uh, on the bottom is uh, nothing. I would have expected the microphone to be here, but it's not here. On the right of the device, uh, you have the lock and unlock button, which is over here. You have the volume rockers above that. And on the top, you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with a micro USB data syncing port, which can also be used to charge the device. You have the standard Nokia charging pinhole over here. On the left is what seems to be a lanyard connection point. And uh, on the bottom or on the back over here is a 3.2 megapixel camera along with this metal door which covers the back panel. And you have the speakerphone over here and uh, you have Nokia 303 written uh, engraved in the back. So the back of the device is essentially metal and uh, you will notice that the minute you pick up the device. So very nice build quality on this device. The front bit is a little bit plasticky, but just unibody shell apart from that. And then you have the metal uh, or the aluminum door lid for the back cover. Uh, once you get into the back of the device, you will see a 3.7 volt BP3L battery, which is a 1300 milliampere hour battery pack. And in the back over here, you will see a micro SD card slot, which is over here and a 2 gigabyte micro SD card is included and uh, the minute you come down from that you will see over here is the SIM card slot. So let's quickly go ahead and power on the device and take a look at the user interface. 
So now we have this bad boy all booted up and uh, let's quickly take a look at the user interface. Uh, now the first thing that's going to happen the minute you turn on the device is it's going to ask you to set date and time. So I'm just going to quickly get through all of these settings so that I can show you what the device looks like. So on the front over here in the main screen, you will see uh, the standard layout that you see on a Nokia Symbian series. OS. You have the date and time information over here. You can set up your favorite contacts. A uh, really nice touch screen. You have social sign-on, so I can see Facebook, Twitter, Orkut, and Friendster uh, icons over there. Let me try and zoom in a little bit more so that you guys can see a little bit clearer. And let's see if we can uh, get it to focus a little bit better. Okay, so that and on the bottom over here, you have the quick launch apps and game slider, which lets you select your apps and games. As you can see over here are tons of apps and games that have been preloaded on this device. So I'm just going to quickly jump into the full menu. You can see messaging, contacts, uh, you can see an internet browser, uh, your photos. Uh, once you go into photos, you can jump into the camera and I'm just going to quickly do that to show you what the camera looks like. Uh, this is the standard camera app. Uh, you can also do video recording, you can preview, you can also set up a timer. So all those things are here. The screen is very, very responsive. A slight touch uh, by my finger is giving it a good response. It is a capacitive touchscreen, so that in turn is uh, good. You can also jump to the video camera, your albums, my videos, all those things are here in the photos uh, menu. Then you have the store, uh, calendar, music, maps, and applications. Once you jump, jump into applications, again, you have the apps and games. So you have a bunch of things installed. You have Angry Birds, you have Asphalt 4, Bijueld, and you have a couple of other games. Apart from that, you have a Bharat Matrimony app, a Book My Show app, so quickly book your tickets. You also have FIFA Sport, so FIFA 12 game is also preloaded. So a bunch of games and apps that are preloaded. Then you can jump into social and uh, this is an app by Nokia. So it collects, it's like a social feed. Uh, WhatsApp Messenger is pre-installed. So all these things are good. Uh, you have a ton of apps uh, that are uh, preloaded for your convenience. We also see an eBay app right there. So online shopping on your phone is also possible. Uh, apart from that, you have an alarm clock, calculator, gallery, a voice recorder, a to-do list, a notes application. And uh, once we do get into the notes application, let's quickly take a look at the keyboard. It's a little difficult to type on this keyboard, especially because all the keys look the same. So I missed out on uh, the buttons and I really had to look at the keyboard while typing. So that's something that you sh should consider if you're looking at this phone. Um, not too happy with the keyboard on this. It is tactile, it's really nice to type on, but the keys are not separate and they're not differentiated. There's no taper, they're completely identical. So it's difficult to spot out, for example, the I key from the O key. So that's what's making it difficult to type on this device. Anyway, coming back, you have a countdown timer and a stopwatch. Um, coming back over here, let's quickly take a look at the music application and let's see if there's some music. Okay, so there are a couple of tracks and I'm just going to play one to test out the audio. So audio is really loud, very clear audio, really nice uh, speaker on uh, the Nokia Asha. Uh, looks good. I'm just going to see if I can connect to uh, my Wi-Fi connection over here. So we are here in the browser. Let's quickly jump into iGAN if we can uh, quickly go here and see if the browser will load up our new website. And it shows up in uh, the search bar over here. Uh, we can uh, download the new browser later. There is a new browser available, so hopefully that is a better upgrade. Uh, but uh, we'll look at that later. Let's quickly load up the current browser and see how it loads up our website. So there you can see it loads up the full website. Pretty impressive. Pretty, pretty impressive uh, for the browser. It loads up the full website. We don't have a pinch to zoom on this, so I don't know how we're going to zoom in, but uh, maybe we can double tap. Yeah, so double tap to zoom works, but it also jumps back to the site. So anyway, it loads up the full website and uh, panning seems to be good. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how you zoom into a web page. 
so let's see if i can yeah you can double tap to zoom in and double tap to zoom out but that's a little buggy because you it does click on uh, the link below your double tap so that may be a problem but um, it seems to load up web pages without any issue so i'm going to shut the web uh, browser i'm going to see if there's a youtube application in here so unfortunately there is no youtube application so i will try and use the browser to go on to youtube to see if video streaming works on this so we have the 1x video i'm just going to stream that and see how that looks on this device so you can see the buffer uh, loader over there Uh, as you can see video quality is not so great uh, not at all impressed with the video streaming audio is still excellent but video streaming is not good at all and we possibly need to download the youtube application from the nokia store uh, to get a better look at uh, video streaming but out of the box video streaming from the browser is pretty disappointing so uh, that's it uh, in terms of the camera the camera is decent but not so great this is uh, the lock screen over here you can quickly tap on the unlock button to unlock it you can lock it by pressing this button on the side uh, the device overall fits in the hand very well and uh, is a good form factor the two disappointing things are the overly sensitive touch screen and uh, the layout of the keyboard but apart from that the build quality seems superbly solid the camera is a 3.2 megapixel camera i'm going to put up a video sample from this as well and we do have a plastic on it right now so i've just gotten rid of that uh, so hopefully the camera now uh, looks a little bit better and performs better so i'll have a sample of uh, pictures and video quality on uh, the full review page the link to that is in the description below for more unboxing videos reviews and tutorials log on to igan.in if you have any questions queries and you can leave a comment below or catch us on Facebook, Twitter and or Google Plus. The links to those are on the video right now in the description below. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. Also do take out the time and check out our new channel on YouTube. It's called youtube.com slash trend police. We've got some fun stuff happening over there, so you should check it out. For iGAN Network, this has been Bas Thank you guys for watching.